In Windows Server 2016, we have the ability to move the operations master roles from one server to another. And we can take a look and see what those are simply by right clicking on the name of the domain and click on operations masters. Now this shows us just three of the five master roles. The uh, schema master and domain naming master are not shown here, but you can see there's RID, there's PD, PDC emulator and infrastructure master. And right now they're all on DCO1, but we can easily change them to DCO2. And we can also do this through using the NTDS util, but we now have another option and that is by doing it using PowerShell. And the advantage of PowerShell is we can also do this on other domains using a command prompt from a different server if we choose. So let's take a look and see how we can do that. I've first off pulled up a list of numbers and these numbers go along with the five master roles. Let's go ahead and take a look when we do a get dash ad domain and we can see all the different owners of the master role. So for instance, infrastructure master, it shows DC01 and we see the RID master is also DC01. So actually all five master roles are on DC01 at this point and that was because that's the first domain controller that uh, was installed. So we're going to type some commands that will allow us to transfer the uh, information, the master role from DC01 to DC02. So we're going to start by typing in move dash ad directory server operation master role space dash identity dc02 then dash operation master role and then the number that we would like to move so if we take a look at the numbers at the top over this to the right section here let's go ahead and move our infrastructure master role number two so all we have to do is hit the space once and hit the number two and then hit enter and we'll say yes to all And now it's done. So now let's go ahead and type that same get ad domain command. And we see now our infrastructure master is on DC02. So if we wanted to reverse that, we could just hit the up arrow again, replace DC02 with DC01. And we'll go ahead and do that. And we can see our infrastructure is back to DC01. So make notes of the five master role names and numbers, so that way you'll know which one you're moving when you move it. And that is how you move a master role from one domain controller to another in PowerShell in Windows Server 2016.